Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are back once more. Let's see who we randomize. Let's actually try really, really hard this time to actually get a streak going. We got Tainted Laz, which is it's potentially a bit messy. I do like new Tainted Laz, and he is reasonably powerful. So we should be okay. I haven't actually played new Tainted Laz in a long while. Like I think since since he got updated, I've only played him twice, maybe three times, so. Um Kind of exciting to get him again. Of course, Flip being a, a very, very good item is rather nice. Getting uh, our doubled item pickups. So let's go see what we get from our item room. It does mean more chance for modded items as well, which is always fun. Um, oof. Oof, my God. $3 bill and the D100. That is some sauce right there. That is some sauce that I quite like. Um, dude, 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 dude. No, no, no. Go, get in the corner. How on earth did you mess that up so badly? That was terrible. Anyways, $3 bill's real good. I think $3 bill early is super helpful. But yeah, Laz, he's a, he's a good lad. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool to hear what did... Um, I, I've actually asked a similar question before, but um, in terms of like character reworks and stuff like that, um, what are you like... This is just a question for anyone in the comments section, by the way. What is like a... A feature for any of the characters that you're kind of surprised doesn't exist already. Like, if I, I kind of asked before, if you were, if you'd like to see a buff um, to a character, what would it be? For me, in terms of features, I was surprised. Like, there isn't more of. Is for one, obviously, there's the, uh, the the extra locusts that have never come for um, Tainted Apollyon. But another one is like having more unique effects for the Eve Clots. Um, there's there's multiple unique Eve Clots, but they don't really do anything different apart from having slightly different health values, really. Um, they have some small differences, but nothing major. So that's kind of something that's always surprised me. What's what's some, something about some of the vanilla or tainted characters that you're really surprised doesn't currently exist? I really wish I'd have saved my bomb to get that double bomb, by the way. That would have been nice. Because um, there's a lot that you can, like... Basically, it's like, oh my god. Stuff that the entire community kind of thinks would be universally good, but it hasn't happened. Hey, it worked out anyways. Right. We well, need to be a little careful as last two here, because um, he's kind of low HP. Uh, I'm just going to quickly take a little peruse here. Secret room. Okay. Secret room's a little up in the air right now. I think it's just to the left here. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. Okay, good. I was correct in that assumption. This is a really good room. Sadly, we do not have the resources to make it work. This is this this one's kind of a shame. Let's just quickly check my shop, because if I have the ability to blow up my donation machine, I am all for doing that. Uh, I do indeed have that ability. Very nice. Let's uh, give that a go, shall we? I, again, I do need to fill up my donation machine. I have been bullying it something chronic. Um... But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Right, so. This is a bit of a risk. Bit of a risk. But I think we play this guy. We hope that he pays out for this amount of money. Which he did pay out with that. Okay, what's what's this? Teleports you to the abandoned planetarium. Pretty awesome. Uh, we'll grab that then. And then we use the rest of our money to roll this into something potentially good. Um, spawn a golden penny when you enter a new floor. Shops will now sell one to four additional uh, items that are drawn from the shop treasure and boss item pool. If the shop is a greed fight, it instead spawns with three to four items when the mini boss dies. That sounds awesome. That sounds really cool. The only problem I perceive with this is we need to make sure we enter the other floor as this character, otherwise it doesn't work. Also, how exactly does this work? Okay, that wasn't great, I'll be honest. I thought that was going to be a little better, but do you know what? It was a it was a pickup, so I don't really mind. Uh, right, so let's go fight our boss. I don't believe boss rooms get doubled items, so we don't need to kind of worry about that too much. Another thing is as well, we have this on the character we have the D100 as, which means I no longer want to use the D100 at all. Um, which is a bit of a shame. So the D100's kind of a bit of a whiff right now. We'll see how this works. I'm. I'm I'm betting this is actually going to be kind of a bad synergy with uh, with with Tainted Lazarus just because a lot of the time we're going to be entering the floor and not getting the golden penny and thus not able to get the extra stuff from the shop. 
Maybe I should... Do you know what? Actually, I've, I've kind of got an idea here. Um... No, actually, okay, let's finish the fight like this, dude. No, let's flip, flip now, flip now. Yeah, that what that I, I was I was really really trying to work out if that worked out the way I wanted it to. There, it did. I was very confused for a moment. Right, let's try, try and check the second secret room here. Because uh, it could be in a few different spots here. Seriously, not it? Okay. Uh, it's got to be at this end room over here, then. Grab these pennies. Might as well grab that key. Try to blow that up. Double pills? It's actually kind of good because we get to use, um... I was going to say we get to use our golden hearts, but apparently not all of them. Tele pills. Hematemesis. And shot speed up. Okay. Decent enough. Grab that key. Quickly get back over here. Try destroying you. And you. Damn it, just spiders. Because considering I got this golden bomb, I really want to take advantage of this floor to the best of my abilities here. I'm going to try to, at least. Not that difficult to do so. Sadly, no crawl space. Really could do with a black heart here. Some moon card. We can at least carry the moon card out of here. Okay, nothing there. Looks like we're not going to get much out of this, I'll be honest. Nothing much out of that. Come on, game. You, you know you want to give me something here. I'm blowing up every rock there is. Every rock in town. Doing my due diligence here. Come on. Come on, game. I can't seriously blow up every single rock that exists on the entire map. And not get a crawl space, right? That'd be crazy. Apparently, I can. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Um, right, we'll just go down to the next floor. We should get a golden penny upon entering the next floor, right? Yes, indeed, we do. Good. It's going to use up a bit of time, but that's fine. That was a terrible golden penny. A arcade shop here. Um, use our moon card straight away. Wooden chest is potentially good. Scratch card is potentially good. Hierophon is very good. Okay. Decent enough stuff here. Do love that arcade music. Got a jam to that. Okay, now the question is, do I have to enter the shop as this guy to activate this penny item or not? That's another question I have, because if so, I've got to kind of finagle this to, to my advantage. Which is a little awkward, but we can do it. What on earth was that hit? Okay, luckily we've got actually pretty good items for both of these guys. This guy having blood clots, great. Okay, what do we get here? Okay, I actually think this is worth a flip for us. Getting air glowing our glasses a little better than having a pointless D100. So we don't want to enter the shop until we do our next room, just in case. So we wanna make sure that we're not this guy. Take you out. Need a bit of damage up on this dude. He's a little weak right now. But $3 bill kind of kind of detracts from the, the, the lower damage, at least somewhat. Not every single time, but we're gonna have it every now and again where we uh, 
managed to get some slightly stronger tiers than we'd otherwise have, so that's fine. Okay, there you go. And that switches us over. Now we can enter the shop and we're going to have extra items in here, right? So I believe this would normally have just been a key. Now, what I'm noticing is we don't have the ability to get flip, but we do have some good stuff in here. We have this, which is black heart and uh, spawn friendly, weakened Gehenna and Mausoleum things. When we get hit, we've got the glass eye, which I think, honestly, we should just take the glass eye. As much as the black candle is really good, this guy pretty desperately needs a damage upgrade, and that's going to get us it. Oh, I also just noticed we have the ability to enter our boss trap room over here, which we should definitely do. Always forget to look for that. I have to go back just a little bit. God damn, that glass eye looks horrific. Nice. I did not realise we would have the potential to flip in here, which is a bit of a shame because that's a really good... I can still flip if I go back in, right? Let's go do. Let's go get some charges first, just just because that's a that's a pretty good set of items for us to get here, especially considering our other guy does not have good health. It's okay considering we got um what's it called, um a hero font card, but it still could be better. Okay, so now we can go back. Oh wait, no no no, no. not yet, not yet, because we need to we need to be the, we're the wrong character at the minute. Oh, you bastard. Do you know what? That's fine, because we're going to be getting some health back, and it allows us to bomb you anyways. And we get considerably more money than I was expecting to get, I'll be honest. That's really good, considering our current money situation. Now. This is also good. I think that works in your favor nicely. Um, We'll leave the devil deal for now. We'll take that for you. Back over here. Okay, we're being a bit slow right now, I realise, but I think it's kind of worth it for the, uh, the, the, the opportunities that we're giving ourselves right now. Does this require us to bomb it again for some reason? It does. Okay, so now we grab that. We finish this off and it'll automatically swap us so we can grab Super Bandage. No, that is not how this works. Okay. Ow. I have to actually use Flip to get this item, which I did not know. So now I'm this dude. So then I want to flip to get that, which is great because we now get the health. We can then pick up the additional health that's on the floor in the boss room, leave as this character, thus spawning the golden penny. So in a roundabout way, I did this right. <laughs> in a very roundabout way. I was going to buy Black Candle there, but I thought with it only being on one character, is it really worth it? Because will it always be active? Or we have to go down as the character that has Black Candle. I'm not quite sure, and I don't really feel like finding out. This is a long-ass golden penny there. Okay. So now just remember, we're going to try and enter the shop as a... Uh... My god. Bad. Bad player. We're going to try and enter the shop as the uh, undead guy. We got number one there as well, which is always nice. Calm down, you. Extra bombs here as, as this dude. This dude actually has some red health now as well, which is nice. If we decide to go Devil Deal, that's going to be good. By the way, this room. Oof, this room. This room sucks a big dookie. There you are. I've been looking for you. Okay, they luckily all transpired into death. Ooh, okay. Library here is pretty good. Yeah, could really do with a good $3 bill effect round about now. Okay, that's a good $3 bill effect.
I have to say, none of these are super appetizing, but when I flip over, I will take one of them. Happy to be doing this room as the uh, slightly powered up. Dude, the Sternies pushed me. You kidding? Oh my god, the Sternies, stop. These fucking Horfs have so much HP, what the hell? They take four hits. Oh my god, these Horfs are awful. This one's a champion too. Oh, thank god it's not a thingy Horf though. What? That hit me? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. I'm very upset that that just hit me there. Very upset indeed. Right. I think we go we go ahead and we grab this. I'm upset. Not a big fan of that at all. So Apollyon's going to help us get through this. I don't even know what pill I used there. I don't even know if I... I, don't, I, th I think I actually didn't end up using the pill, is what happened. Oh wait, no, I did. I just don't know what it did. Wait, what? I'm confused. Where'd that pill go? Where the heck that pill go? Definitely take that. Oh no, we still got it. There you go. It was, it was a puberty pill. Fair enough. Good, good. Item room here. We need flip available for our item room. Ideally, at least. Wait, when did I use flip? Why did I use... Did, did I use flip at some point by accident? I think I did. It's a little confusing. That's fine. Okay. Um, keep going back to the shop. Down this way we go. Get out of the way, heart. You ain't part of this. Need a bit more fire rate for this dude. This dude's fire rate is a little low. Uh... Pop that again. Ooh, I've just I've just realised what this room is. Gotta be careful. There you go. There they are. Saw that just in the nick of time. Right. So now we go back to our item room. And we can flip it a dip. One minute. I've got seven messages on Discord. What's going on? <clears throat> okay. It's my friend asking me to play COD. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Right. Okay. So. Ooh. That is not really worth flipping for, I don't think. I'll take Spider Baby. But the other thing I don't care about, it's just a orbital fly. That was a pretty terrible roll right there. I think items are kind of okay. I don't think they're great. Okay, so now we enter here as you. Okay, so the items spawned by that don't work for this. So I think this is great. We'll definitely take this. We'll bomb that. And we will try re-roll a little bit here. See what we get. Broken stopwatch isn't quite our jam. School bag isn't quite our jam. Neither is that. Neither is that. Too. Coupon could be pretty good, actually. Nah, I'm going to keep rolling. Okay. Okay. Let's just undo that. Come in here. No. You savage game. You savage game. I've I, okay. I've got an idea here. This better work. Okay. Good. Right. I've got a bit of a cheeky idea now. Hmm. Is tooth and nail good enough? <sighs> ah, I'm gonna gamble. Okay, this is a bit of a weird game break here. But, we essentially have a roundabout way of producing whatever items we want 
it's a bit janky, I'll admit. But we always get a battery on the second roll. We always have enough money to get that. And... Okay, so this, this is the one. So now we go with Silver Ring and 2020. There you go, look at that. Look at that. That is what you call the big smart. <laughs> I think that was a pretty good play. So because, because the way that this silver dollar item, whatever you want to call it, I can't remember what the item's called now, the, the money item, because of the way that item is uh, is created, essentially, loading into a shop, the items are created upon the shop loading rather than prior, meaning they're not seeded. Meaning glowing hourglass doesn't actually remember what those items were, and each time we enter the shop again, it spawns them. So we could infinitely enter and re-enter the shop to roll until we got whatever items we wanted. And of course, as you just saw, we got a damage multiplier, damage up, and 2020. Which I feel like is probably one of the best results we could have hoped for. Especially in the 2020 department. You can't spawn no spiders on me. I love spiders. Spiders are my best friends. Here we take that. Pop in here. I'm unable to see what's underneath this. Alright, what, what we got for trinkets here? Baby shoes. Reduce the size of all enemies by 20%. This affects both their sprite and hitbox. Um, my stem as horns is pretty good. I kind of want to take Job's family here. Let's let's try it out because we've, we've got thingy if we need to. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. We take that. We... We grab the... No, we grab it as the other guy. Grab that. Grab that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, then we go on to the next floor. I feel like I played that floor like a fiddle. I don't know, I'm, pre I'm pretty happy with myself there. I think, I think I got pretty much the most I could have out of that floor. The only thing I probably could have done better is maybe played the library a little more. But otherwise, I think I did a pretty good job. And yeah, circular protection's super good here. Job's family is also pretty awesome. Death. Death. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm even going to go into the cash room and then glowing hourglass out if it's nothing worthwhile. Yep, not worthwhile. Get me out of there. Could have been good, but it's not quite. This could be a good secret room here. Yes. Ooh, okay. This is, um... Damn. We almost had a game break here. Ha what the hell? How did that not blow you up? Damn. Okay, I... I could have done this a little differently. Oh, there's chaos in here as well. Heck. Okay. I think I've played this reasonably well. I think. I might not have done, but I think I have. Stay out of the way of that, please. Okay. You can be annoying, but you're not terrible. Flip and we grab that. Yeah, so what basically, if I'd had entered this room with enough money to buy the battery and everything else, I could have re rolled these items like a lot. 
God damn, Job's family is doing a great job for us. Oh my god, that hit, hit all those flies. Right, let's try and get a charge before we enter there. I don't know if we'll actually get a charge now, you know. I've kind of played this floor a bit weirdly. But we've got two boss items that I feel are pretty necessary, so I'm pretty happy. God damn, yeah, Job's family is insanely good. They're just wrecking everything up. I mean, it is the tainted version where you get, like, all of them at once. I think the normal version, you get, like, one of them. Tainted version's pretty powerful. Right, keep her going. Oh, I don't think I got a golden penny at the start of this floor. I slightly misplayed that. Okay, we have we have flip ready. Good. Got a moon. Moon cards, kind of whatever. Right, enter our item room here. See what we get. Oh, again, just not great stuff. Not worth a flip, certainly. Right. So this time we enter. Unfortunately, wait, there is a battery, but we're the wrong character. So I've got to try this out just to see how it works. If I, if I flip and then do that. And then enter again. Okay, it's all the same items. Okay. That's fine. Oh, hello. That was very, very, very uh, unintended, but I'll take it. I was not expecting that at all. That was a very low amount of money there. I'm a bit disappointed. Right. I think... I want to go back and buy Transcendence. I think having flight on at least one character would be quite nice. So we go... Boom. And we might as well flip to grab this. I feel like GB Bug isn't that good, but if it's quite literally free for only the charge of one of our item charges... That's not so bad. Okay, good. I actually think that this glowing hourglass tactic has uh, blossomed into something pretty beautiful. Normally, you don't really see glowing hourglass at the forefront of tactics for a run. But with this character, it allows us to do some pretty interesting stuff. Now, it's going to be a little hard to get used to the fact that one character now has flight and the other doesn't. I will say that for sure. I think I may have slightly messed this up in terms of order if this next room leads to the boss. Because I'm going to be uh, the wrong character when I leave. But otherwise, this has gone pretty well. Okay, it, it isn't. I always want to be fighting the boss as this dude. Ow. That was not good. That's good though. So yeah, that's good. So now, now I get to fight this dude. I actually do get a flip charge after this, which works. Oh, that was close. Okay, so now I get to fight whatever boss this ends up being, which is Blighted Urban times two. Oh, no, it's Blighted Urban plus Pin. Pin's dead. Pin just died straight away. Good, good. Then we grab... I think we should check our Devil Deal, considering. Um, So we definitely grab this because we want the HP up and fire it. Just got to remember... It's really annoying when you can't quite see what's underneath the item. Entropy's amazing here. And we're going to grab Entropy. I'm going to grab the... Okay, okay. Grab Entropy. And I think that's I think that's all we could really care about. I'm not even bothered about flipping, to be honest. I'd rather get the golden coin than get death's list. Cause at this at this stage into the game, I'm not gonna be able to routinely do death's list. And entropy's great. More shots fired every now and again is awesome. Especially with 2020, it's gonna be even more shots fired. Alright, so now we should get a golden penny. We indeed did. Sadly, we got Curse of the Labyrinth, which means less shops. A bit of a bummer. Hopefully this takes up to 15 cents, at least. 
sadly not even close. But shouldn't matter too much. But yeah, entropy is going to mean that we should get a lot of good stuff going on here. We can use this pretty freely now because we don't have any more horsemen to worry about. And plop that there. Probably should have left the soul heart on the ground, I'll be honest, but it's okay. Okay, I think I think we've definitely got one character that's that's considerably stronger, but this character isn't by any means weak. I I, I would I would say I'd like a damage up as this character. The fuck? Why am I shooting from the middle of the room at the same time as what the heck? There's like tears coming from the middle of the room. It's very bizarre. Okay, just just keep playing this normally. Don't really worry about much here. Remember, circular protection does do some damage. I managed to re-roll that enemy there by accident. I'm, I'm firing from the middle of the room and I don't know why. I think I've accidentally got on the black hole effect from, um, from tainted, what's his name? But I, I've got on the black hole effect from tainted Andromeda as a $3 bill effect and it's just stuck around. Yeah, there's some weird shenanigans going on right now. I'll probably report this to the developer because I don't know quite what's caused that. But I, I suspect they created Andromeda's effect as a new effect. And um, that then caused some, some fuckiness. Because uh, the character... Because that effect can then be rolled by uh, anyone using $3 bill. But because the effect isn't created in a normal way that a normal item effect would be, because it's not attached to an item, it subsequently doesn't get removed correctly. That would be my assumption. I may be completely incorrect, and I have nothing to do with Andromeda, but I, I kind of feel like it probably does have something to do with Andromeda. It just makes a lot of sense to me. Got a cracked key there, that's nice. Do we, is there any way in this room we can use it? No, but there is. There's nowhere here we can use it either. Okay. There's another one there as well. Careful. Oh my god, that should not have hit me. Really need some health as this dude. Dude, calm down. Right. Let's quickly use our cracked key here. Sadly, nothing. Do not even dare steal a charge from me, sir. Okay. Thoughts of the secret room. Some rotten hearts. Actually, rotten hearts would benefit you quite heavily. So let's do that. Looking for a bit more money before we enter our shop here. Oh, that had to miss, didn't it? Shot would have insta-killed you. Yeah, there's a little bit more money. Okay, we do have flight here, remember? Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think we should go into the cash room as you. Just because we have the ability to regenerate some more HP here. Go and hurt and juice as soon as a good job here. Still yet to find our item room. That would be kind of nice to stumble across. That didn't hit that. Okay. I'm willing to use two. Okay. Fine. Make our way back down here. We're, we're doing a lot of back and forth as this character at the minute, but I think that kind of is okay. This will get us enough money to do what we want to do. Let's go back up to the shop. Just because we're as this character at the minute and we've got this glowing hourglass tactic in our back pocket, it's not always going to work because we kind of need a reroll machine to uh, to really make it pop. Okay, so unfortunately no reroll machine, but we did get familiars that... Familiar that orbits around you and shoots tiny planet tears, does not block any projectiles, has a unique interaction with... Peculiar stone. Give it a go, shall we? 
Yeah, that's decent enough, yeah. That's a decent enough. Oh, I didn't realise that um, external item descriptions told you what the flip uh, the flip item was. I should have been looking at, looking at that the whole time. That would have helped me a lot. <laughs> Ooh, I almost walked into that fire. That was very close. Let's see if I can find that item room. It's likely to be here. Oh, and of course, I did all that fucking about. All that fucking about, and there's so much money here. God damn it. Let's leave that there for now, because we need that for our other character, really. This is a bit hellish. You are spawning way too many. Euthanasia swiftly took care of you. Dude, calm down. That is way too many enemies to be spawning. Alright, grab that. This has to be item room route, right? Might not be, but... Okay, it's not. Alright. Proven wrong, I guess. Right, back this way. Still not found a boss yet, actually. This has all been the wrong way so far. What on earth? There is some really weird stuff going on right now. Maybe it's just a strange interaction with um with entropy because I do re I do know that entropy is coded in a particularly janky way because it had some negative interactions with my uh with my time with tainted Andromeda and spurred transformation. So it's very possible that the case is just that entropy's jank. And I'm just, I keep forgetting this is an XL floor. This floor's huge. There's our boss, though. Okay. Oh, again, though. Items that I just sadly don't care about at all. I'm not. I'm. I'm literally not even gonna bother like grabbing the other one here. Just like even the sneeze is pretty pointless. I think the sneeze doesn't really do much for us here. Like, we can get the Brimstone's Curse on enemies and stuff, but not all that good. Right, there we go. That's a good amount of health for you. Keep getting our bombs back conveniently, which is nice. Oh, my lord. That was a room that was scary to look at. Again, yet another Soul Heart there. Second item room is likely to be very nearby. God damn, this floor just never stops. But it just keeps going. This floor's huge. Soy milk. Hmm. That's one that I have to say is a little peculiar. Also, we got this item room twice in a row, which is interesting. Um, I'm going to say yes to it. Also, I think flipping for this is kind of worth it. Like... Soy milk is kind of one of those ones where it's probably a bad idea, but with the amount of tears we're firing, I think it could be kind of fun. And entropy makes it even better, too. What in the hell? Why do we have 120 fire rate? That's a, a little much, I think. It's a little more than I was expecting, I gotta say. That's nuts. Why do we have 120 fire rate? <laughs> what happened? That's not what... Soy milk gives you 15. <laughs> We have literally max fire rate. I'm not quite sure what's the cause of that, but it's going to be uh, pretty devastating for whatever tries to pass us. Oh god. We briefly got some bugger tears there. I do like the way the sneeze changes colour with uh, your, your tear effects. Oh my god. I've just taken the most damage possible right now. Apparently it was my goal to take as much damage as I possibly could here. I'm just trying to get to step in this fire as much as I can. It actually worked really well, that. I got to step in it three times. 
We can't flip with this, but we will check it out at least. Unfortunately, they are pretty doo-doo. Right, let's get out of here. Okay. This is this this has become pretty wacky. 120 fire rate is like the absolute cap. It is like the highest fire rate you can possibly have. We don't really need the money anymore. Piercing on every odd shot would be pretty good, I gotta say that. Every tenth shot when we're firing a thousand shots per second is uh, pretty good going, actually. Okay, use this to get some health back out of the health that we lost there. Don't know why that guy got spawned a corn poop then when he died. That was pretty weird. Just remember that we've also got the glowing hourglass to reset if things go awry. This is actually lagging a lot less than I thought it would be. It's lagging quite a lot, mind you, but a lot less than I thought it would be. Which is rather nice. It's like, it's like this build's reasonably strong. The other build, however... The other build is, uh... I, like, it's gotta be some right jankiness going on with Entropy. That's all I can think that's causing this. I think Entropy is just curded in a really janky way, I'll be honest. Because it, it just seems to cause issues in most of my runs. Look at that. How much fire do you have? Oh, I have 3.4. How much do you have? Uh, 120. Also, I've been noticing that as as normal Lazarus, as, as our weaker Lazarus, the OG, I seem to be getting hit a lot, but basically not ever taking damage. Has anyone else noticed that? Like, is it the case that I'm genuinely not taking damage, or is my orbital just constantly blocking? Like, as this guy. Like, I'm taking contact damage from things touching me, but I haven't been hit by a shot in a while. And I'm not sure if that's just like general game jank sort of... Oh, come on. Okay, there you go. Or oh, what? I'm, I'm really not sure. Nice. Should be on our way to our boss now as well. Like this laser would hit me if it hit me, I think. Okay, done fire at this dude normally, because that would be a lot of, really, fire coming our way. That was annoying. Fat rollers, stay away. That just looked very secret roomy to me. I had to check it. Okay, there's our boss. Sorry, lads. Get wrecked. Um, there's nothing particularly interesting in here. Oh, really? I didn't mean to start this fight, this stupid game. Yeah, let's just back out of this. Be on our way. Whoa, but yeah, this has just been very weird. Imagine this with, like, Tech X. Not Tech X, sorry, um... Tech Zero would be nuts. But yeah, having a few of them pierce every now and again is pretty good. But yeah, even on or even on our weaker build, we're still clearing rooms reasonably fast. Oh, got hit there a bit. Don't worry though, because we get permanent polar invincibility, which is very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Uh, excuse me. Oh, did you seriously just tran? GB bug just was like, lol, fuck you, and just transformed an enemy that was nearly dead into a full health version of quite literally the worst enemy in the game. Thank you. I'm so glad you did that for me. Why is there a troll bomb in that? God damn it. Hey, that's pretty good. Very good, very good. Let's keep it going. Yeah, I really think our Rotten Hearts are kind of what is clinching this for us on this character. His power is like decent. We're getting a good amount of damage out there. But the extra power that we're getting from those spiders, uh, from those flies is actually pretty, 
pretty fucking good. Get rid of you. That's, this is always a hard room. One of the harder womb rooms. Womb rooms. Apart, apart from modded. There is some definite uh, stinkers in the uh, in the modded rooms. But there's also some that are like genuinely hard in a good way. I've really, I've really been liking all the modded rooms we've been adding. I'm hoping I see more room mods come out as, uh, as the months and weeks progress. Imagine this with more damage. My god. Ready to come down now, mum? There you go. There you go. And up we go. We're meant to be doing the beast. I keep forgetting what goal we're going for, I'll be honest. It's not it's not a terrible problem, but I really should try and remember it a little more often just to add a bit more variety. Goddamn GB bug. Why are you the worst? Why you gotta be a double tap? The double tap things are just bad. Okay, we are losing health a bit more rapidly than I'd like. But this dude, it doesn't matter. He's got he's got regen. Okay, that was a good reroll. Reroll a pretty aggressive and annoying enemy into something not so bad. Also, I see you there. Some good stuff. Boom. I think I think we're heading in straight towards the boss here, so it should be good. Again, this is another decent reroll. I'll accept it. I was expecting some polties there, but apparently not. GB bug, don't reroll these guys, please. Oh, did that not kill? Goddamn ghosts have so much HP. It's really annoying. Okay, I do like the fact that when we get a room like this, it gives me my good character. Who can just melt this boy. Goodbye. I feel like we're kind of going the wrong way here. I don't think this is going to lead to the boss, but... I'll continue down the path nonetheless because I feel like a goober if it ends up do if it does end up being the right way and I change direction. Oh no no, actually no, I'm pretty confident it's right now. It kind of went on a on a hook. Yeah, there you go. It's always nice when you pick the right direction first. It's rare, very rare, but it's nice. Ooh, bit of golden bombs to mix into this party. Oh, not that I'll be able to hit any of them. Actually, that one hit. That one did hit. Got him. Now, where we go? Right, we definitely want items for this dude here to try and get some spice going for him. Because he's a bit weak. I wouldn't even, like I said, I wouldn't even say he's weak. He's weak in comparison. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do, don't you? You know what I'm going to do, don't you? Yes, you do. You've just got to try it, haven't you? Oh. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Of course, I don't have bomb immunity, so... Bit of a risky bisky. But, who can say no? Ow. Don't worry about it. Like I said, as, as long as we keep our rotten hearts... Oh, what the hell? Where'd these ghosts come from? Oh, that's when we got hit, isn't it? From the, uh, the rose item. How have you got taken, like, basically no damage this entire room? God. Come on. None of them. <laughs> the bombs do such little damage. It's kind of funny. Many. 
Okay. Slightly the wrong way here. No way. Oh, no. I could have got something great there by picking up the rose as the other dude to get... What's that rose item called? Right, let, let me just... Let me just... Uh, let's wait until we finish this room out. God, this is a horrible room, by the way. I'm taking some fat damage in this room. Some fat damage coming my way. Ow. Just get the ghost on him. Two to four ghosts each time we get hit. Quite all the ghosts on the screen now. They worked out reasonably well. Right. So, let me just... I, I have to check this. Because this is like a, a, a cut and dry victory right here, right? So, let's just go inventory. Oh, wait. That's not the right inventory. Let me, let me, uh, let me just go like this and go G Rose. I think it's Haunted Rose. C1049. It is. Okay. Look at this. I have to try this out. I'm really annoyed at myself for not just picking that up naturally. But now that I know it exists, how can I, how can I not play around with this? How could I not? What kind of person would I be? This is pretty horrible. We have lost a lot of health. Cloak, baby. Hell yes. Conjoined? Oh, no. Oh, lordy lord. Oh, my lord. I'm getting hit so much as this character. It's kind of offensive. Come on. Just sit still, you fat earth. There you go. I'm annoyed that I didn't pick that up naturally, but trying it with console commands is just as fun. Considering we were, like, this one's pretty much a victory, like, I don't, I don't mind cheating something in just to try out a cool synergy that I missed out on. Oh, it's beautiful. But god damn, I'm whiffing some of these. You, what? Where did that come from? GB bug, you bi you absolute bitch. Magician? Right. We want to be flipping. Pop the magician card. <laughs> Anyhow. That rounds off that one. Hope you guys enjoyed. What a great run. I'll see you guys in the next one.